Hey guys, Dr. Utesh here, Wellness Key Chiropractic. This Mindful Monday, I dare you, I challenge you to get eight hours of sleep on average per night this week. With cold and flu season coming around, if you're not getting enough sleep, your immune system's not working. If you're not getting enough sleep, your brain's not working at 100% capacity. And so I challenge you, I encourage you, I hope this inspires you to really focus on your sleep this week, get more sleep. As a reference, we have a sleep series on our website, wellnesskeycaro.com. You can look at quick little videos on tidbits and how to get better sleep quickly, but ultimately get your sleep routine, and I dare you to get over eight hours of sleep on average per night this week. Dr. Utash, Wellness Key Chiropractic, get more sleep. Dr. B, where are you? I'm over here. Where? Keep walking. I'm in here. I'm over here, Shuri. Hi. Dr. B here, Wellness Key Chiropractic. Um, I just wanted to tell you, subluxation. You may have heard that word in here. You may have been asked about it in here especially on a written piece of paper, what's a subluxation? I'm gonna tell you. It's a misalignment of the spine with interference to the nerves. It's not good. We don't like subluxations, we remove them from the body. Subluxation, a misalignment of the spine with interference on the nerves. Hey guys, I just want to point out a, uh, a patient, a typical patient, walks into the office, daily headaches, back pain, mid-back pain, acid reflux, taking medication, of course, for the pain, uh, in her young 20s, uh, with a toddler, kind of picking a toddler up all the time and working full time. Uh, life was just stressful. It was tough. And uh, we just did a progress report uh, just uh, the other day, and uh, in less than a month, headaches disappeared. Magic, right? Magic. No, it's taking the pressure off the nerves that come out of that upper neck, right? And allowing her body to heal itself. Back pain, almost gone. Medication, significantly reduced. Quality of life, way up in one month of regular corrective chiropractic care. Yes, doing some exercises, being consistent. She's been great at sticking to a schedule and now she's reducing her frequency and we're gonna work on strengthening and stabilizing so she doesn't lose her progress. And so, speaking of which, uh, this right here, most of you guys have received this little pyramid right here. Initially, most people, they start in intensive care, whether it be a car accident, whether it be an injury at work or picking up a kiddo, uh, maybe something that's been just festering and festering. You're like, I can't take it anymore. You come in in the intensive phase of care and yeah, we're seeing you regularly, two, three, four times a week. We got to get ahead of this thing. So, you know, it's not doing more damage than we're, we're doing correcting because there's still the daily stress of life. Uh, we go through that, that's maybe one to two to three to four to six months for intensive care. We retake those x-rays, ranges of motion, relook at those goals, and we can move on to wellness care. Wellness care, now we're, okay, we're seeing it less frequently. Maybe it's twice a week, maybe it's once a week, maybe it's every other week. We're, we're trying to make sure that we're still staying ahead of your daily stress and we're still making progress. That means that you're better six months from now than you were now, right? That's progress. That's measurable. Uh, we can see that your day-to-day -day life is better. After six months to a year of wellness care, we look into lifetime care. And this is truly where chiropractic comes alive. This is not headache care. This is not back pain care. Of course, chiropractic does great with that, right? But this is where sleeping starts getting better. We start realizing that our body doesn't need the medications, that we can live natural, healthy lives abundantly. Right? That's where the workshops are coming into play. We're, we're looking to eat better. We're looking to get movement out of our body. We're setting consistently goals and then achieving those goals. That's lifetime care. That's where the bulk of our, our patients are at right now. And that's ultimately what I want for everybody. And so if whatever stage that you're at right now, that's my goal for you is to, is to kind of move you up the ladder so that way we go from that just symptom relief care. I get it, I've been there. That's why I become a patient too. But now we're starting to, now systems of the body are working better. Less acid reflux, less reliance on the medication. 
a natural, more healthy life, right? So that way your poor health or that those poor, or those poor health outcomes are not interfering with your life goals. And that's ultimately what we want, want to see you guys. And so I hope this helps. I also want to just bring up last two things. We have two workshops coming up in the month of September, uh, raising healthy families. Be there if you have kiddos, or you have grandkiddos, if you're an influence on, on your family members, this is a workshop for you. How do you raise a family naturally? And we're gonna talk about that. Dr. B and I will do, uh, be doing that workshop. And of course our Vital Shift Dinner. So if you've not been to the Vital Shift Dinner, one, free food, eh, 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 free food. Uh, come in, I bribe you with some food. Uh, we'll come in, we'll kind of go over how to get the best results and how to get better faster. And then ultimately, why scientifically does chiropractic work so gosh darn well, right? Can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to just see this week. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, Loxy here with Wellness Key Chiropractic. This week, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about some rehab. Um, I know a lot of you have talked to on the vibe about core stability and why that's so important. A lot of us, myself included, have this tendency to kind of dump the pelvis forward it's very important that we're not sitting in this position for too long because it starts to cause a lot of compression and irritation on those nerves that come out of the lower back. So we start to see things like pain here, um, lack of mobility in that area, which can then cause you know, pain that radiates down the legs, uh, constipation, gas, bloating, those kind of issues can come from uh, impingement of the nerves or lack of communication from the nerves um, in that lower back area. So a great way that I like to start talking about core stability, um, when you're on the vibe, this is a great way to kind of start working on it. If you find that you're kind of in that very arched position, you wanna try to think like you're bringing these hip bones up towards your rib cage. So we're gonna do a little scooping motion, bringing that pelvis back underneath you. It should kind of feel like the ribs are being stitched together and you're doing a tiny sit up to draw those core muscles in towards the belly button and back towards the spine. If you have questions about that, please let me know. It's really, really important. We need that core stability to take some, some of the pressure and the workload off of those lower back muscles. Um, there's a lot of different ways to work on that. So if standing on the vibe feels a little too challenging to start, let me know. We can start on the table and work on it that way. If you have any questions, I'm always available. Have a great week this week. Oh, what a great adjustment that was. Oh, I can move off the table. And the office team will take care of that. I'm gonna rip this off. Throw it away since I'm wearing socks. And, oh, hey guys, follow me. We're gonna go over here, right here, actually right here. I'm gonna take off my lovely Doc Martin shoes, which many of you have commented on. Wear my pink purple socks. And I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna turn on this vibe, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. So you can hear me, I'll turn it off. I am standing in a perfect anatomical position. Feet shoulder width apart, palms forward, shoulders back, chin slightly elevated, and tucked back slightly, keeping the tummy tight, glutes tight, and staring at the palm tree out there beyond the window. <sighs> Up to five minutes. Why are we doing this? We're doing this to help support the adjustment, strengthen the muscles of posture, reset what's called proprioception, which is neuromuscular re-education of where my body is in space. I wanna, I wanna shoot for the stars, so I hit the moon later in my car. So that's what we can do in the rehab area. Also what we can do in the rehab area is grab a little cross ball. Many of us have very tight knots and muscles in our shoulders, in our glutes, in our back, hip areas. Wherever they are, we'll be creative and use a lacrosse ball Kind of squat down a little bit so we have room to go up and down and i'm just grinding that knot out hurts so good it's a beautiful thing okay wherever it's at if it's in that low back area kind of squat down a little bit put some pressure on it to your tolerance because it can be quite uncomfortable we don't want to cause more harm but we are going to help relax that area by ironing out those muscles that are really, really tight, okay? Really great to do after the adjustment. Also, this little therapeutic stick, 
really great if you're using it by yourself, if you're solo, on your legs, anywhere on the legs, on the quads, hamstrings, uh, the lower leg, okay, some of these muscles in the front, even the calves in the back, um, and this to your tolerance, make it hurt so good. Another thing that we can do on the Vibe is a pro-lordotic exercise. What does lordotic even mean? That's the, the name for the curve that is in our neck and in our low back. For most of us, we want to reintroduce that curve that should naturally be in our neck. So putting some good stress on it while on the Vibe, stimulating the muscles and the joints, we're gonna really put that stress on that curve to help reintroduce the way, the shape that we want it to be. Doing about, you know, 10 to 20 of those. Don't wanna fatigue our arms too much, just wanna really help reintroduce that curve. Many other things that we can do on the Vibe as well. But we'll talk about that next time. Dr. B here, Wellness Key Chiropractic. Hey guys, Dr. Utash here, Wellness Key Chiropractic. Uh, this Therapeutic Thursday video is especially for our patients here in the office or anyone who has a band that they can put behind their neck. Uh, it's going to be great for increasing range of motion in your neck and if you've had some x-rays, especially here at the office, if you've lost that normal curve of your neck, uh, it went straight or starts to buckle the wrong way, maybe you have some forward head posture or you spend too much time on a computer or on a cell phone, fantastic exercise for getting the head back and starting to induce that normal curve. That's going to take this pressure off the spinal cord and then ultimately allow better communication from your brain to end your spinal cord and out those nerves. And then, you know, 20 years from now, that spine's not going to wear out as quickly. So uh, this is called a prolordotic. Uh, I recommend our patients do this on the vibration platform after the adjustment. Uh, and kind of an easy way to remember this exercise, uh, you can think of yes, no, and maybe. And then you can think of low, medium, and high. And so it kind of breaks up the neck into lower cervical, middle cervical, and upper cervical. And then yes, no, and maybe. And so great exercise, getting that range of motion back, uh, getting that spine, getting those muscles firing in the back as well. So uh, prolordotic exerciser, we have several of them hanging in the back right there. Uh, this should just take a couple of minutes when you're on the vibe. Uh, you're not gonna hold the exercise, you're just gonna hold your hands out. So uh, for the lower neck, so this is just above that little bump in the back of your neck right there, you're gonna push these hands down, mostly down and out, and then looking up. And so here's our yes. I would encourage you to start with just five of these. Second exercise, again, lower cervical, arms straight down, and instead of looking up, you're going to look right and left. And so we're gonna think about doing that again about five times each side. Uh, if you're sensitive, you may always start with two each side. If you've been doing this for a while, perhaps go up to 10 each side. Uh, and then the last exercise, uh, again, same position with the arms and the hands, and then you're gonna still gonna keep your chest up, your shoulder blades back, and then you're gonna go here to your shoulder, here to your shoulder. And this one again, five on each side. That's the lower neck. Same thing's gonna happen in the middle neck. So the middle neck position is gonna be right in between the back of your skull here and the top of your shoulders. You're gonna push this straight out instead of down, so straight out, and then you're gonna do those same exercises. Yes, um. no, and maybe. And again, depending on, on your ability, two to 10 reps each. And the last one, this one can be tricky. You're gonna get right at the base of the skull, and then you're actually gonna lift your arms kind of almost uh, up at an angle, nearly straight up, uh, and then you're gonna do the same thing, looking up. Rotation. And lateral flexion. Again, fantastic exercise, working the muscles of the neck, inducing that normal curve, opening up the neck flexors, great for the computer sniffers, for the people on the cell phones. I uh, hope you get to try it here in the office uh, or at home. Again, I'm Dr. Joe Utash, Wellness Key Chiropractic, Therapeutic Thursday. Thursday, Wellness Key family. It is Cherie here, and this week I'm here to talk to you about scheduling and checking in and all of that fun stuff that we do when we come to the office every day. So scheduling. 
Um, I know that the seasons are changing. Your kids are going back to school. You're going back to school. A lot of changes will be coming in the next couple months. That being said, your schedule is going to change. That being said, you're going to need to change your schedule at the office, which we can totally help with. We're very flexible. Even if it's last minute, let us know. We can move it to something. Whatever's going to help you get in, we'd still love to see you. Um, even if you're going to only come in, you know, lesser in the week, that's okay. We still want to see you. We still want to get you adjusted. Make sure you're doing good, okay? Apart from that, getting checked in. When you come in, make sure you scan your key tag. If you don't see your face pop up on that computer screen, let us know. Sometimes it bugs out and we miss you. And you know, unfortunately you're having to wait longer than we want you to. So please let us know, please pay attention to the screen. If it doesn't bring your face up, let us know. So we can make sure that you're getting in. Um, and then if you don't have your key tag that day, that's totally okay. Log in your little phone number on the iPad. If you have a 520 area code, um, starting with your phone number, just use the last seven digits. If you have an out of state area code, put the whole thing in there. That's gonna be your pin for the back when you're logging into the computers before you get adjusted as well. If you have any questions about that, you need to change your, your code for any reason, or if you've changed numbers, let us know, we can change that for you. You're here to help, whatever that means. So if you have any questions, come up to me, Loxie, Dr. B, Dr. Utash, we are here for you. I hope you have a good week.